Just look at that line, it stretches around the block. I'm really glad I came when I did. I just had a fantastic lunch of tacos at the soon to be legendary Taqueria Ramirez in Greenpoint, Brooklyn. It just opened last year and it's already making waves throughout the city. I've wanted to go to the restaurant for a while, but the thing is, it's been winter, it's cold, it's not a very big restaurant, there is indoor dining, but there's not a lot of space. It is February 12th and it is still winter, but it is unseasonably warm today, it's 57 degrees. That is ridiculous. So I thought today would be the ideal day to give this restaurant a try. I arrived at the establishment about 20 minutes before it opened. There was already just maybe four or five people in the line. No big deal. But that didn't last. Soon there were about 30 to 40 people behind me as the establishment opened its doors. When the restaurant opened, the line seemed to move pretty steadily. After placing my order, I waited maybe three, four minutes for my tacos. No big deal. One of the things that I think makes Taqueria Ramirez really special is that they serve a menu of tacos that you mostly don't see too much in the US. The restaurant takes after Mexico City style taquerias with offers such as suadero and tripa. One of the unique aspects of the establishment is that once you receive your tacos, it's up to you to put on the toppings. There's a small section in the restaurant with all the toppings, like the salsa, limes, onions, and you get to control how much you want to put on your tacos yourself. In some respects, this is nice since it keeps the line moving, but one should be cautious from adding too much so as not to overpower the flavor of the meat. There is quite a line right now. So happy I have my tacos. Another unique aspect of the restaurant is that takeout is kind of not allowed. All the tacos come out on plates, no exceptions. At the same time, however, if you brought your own containers, just transfer the tacos from the plate to your containers, I'm sure no one would yell at you. Currently, there are six different tacos on the menu. I got five of those tacos. The taco on the menu that I didn't get was the Capechano taco, and that's because that taco is a combination of suadero and longaniza, which I'm already having on other tacos. Plus, I thought having six tacos does seem a little excessive, but now having been to the restaurant, I know I could easily have eaten those six. All the tacos are pretty small. The good thing about that is you can try pretty much all of them. None of the tacos would take more than a few bites to consume, but they are indeed some damn fine bites. So this is the cactus one. I got it with chicharrones. It's a dollar extra, but uh, I think it's worth it to make it non-vegetarian. Mm, that is awesome as well. Yeah, I like the added crunch from the chicharrones. I think it's worth the extra dollar. The taco on the menu that most people would be familiar with is the Al Pastor, and they serve a very good example of it. The Al Pastor. <laughs> Amazing as well. Really great meat. Nice char on it. Very flavorful. Great tacos. So this is the tripa, which was finished with the blowtorch. Looks really good. The tripa consisted of slow-cooked beef, small intestines. Flavor-wise, I loved it. The meat had a bit of funk to it and was incredibly tender. Really nice texture on that. Really nice, light meat, really good flavor, so good. <laughs> My favorite taco on the menu was probably the suadero taco. This was pretty unique. I've never had suadero before. Suadero is sometimes called beef rose meat because of its light pink color and has a smoother texture rather than a muscle grain. That is so good. Oh, I love that. Now, suadero is a cut of meat that comes between the belly and the leg of a cow. It's a type of meat that is really popular in Mexico City. Another taco I particularly enjoyed was the longanisa. So this one is basically like chorizo. Looks really good. Really 
overly flavorful as well. A little bit of spice, a little bit of sweetness in the meat too even. Really nice. Overall, Taqueria Ramirez certainly lives up to the hype. I really appreciate the menu of really unique tacos that one just doesn't see that often in the U.S. The lines may be long, but it is worth it. Taqueria Ramirez is a fantastic addition to the New York City dining scene, to the New York City taco scene. It's a great restaurant. I loved my lunch there.